it is a bright and sunny morning out there. Um, we will be playing with our attached Xbox controller, which I heard a few people had issues. I had such a hard time launching this game on here. Um, I had to do so many back ways to try to get Origins to launch it, because it kept saying the configuration was wrong and I needed to reinstall it. If anyone has had that issue, I will leave two links below that helped me solve the issue for the game, which I hear is happening a lot with a lot of just EA games across the board. Um, but yeah, welcome into Alice Manus Returns. We won't talk too much in the beginning of this because in the beginning of the game, it's very cutscene heavy based to the story, which totally fits it, and then gameplay kind of overrides that throughout. There's a lot of talking bits through it, so I'll try not to talk over any of the parts where Alice or Cheshire, the memories, all that kind of stuff is talking. Um, but otherwise, let's jump on into Alice Madness Returns, the best game ever, according to me. <laughs> Favorite game of all time. Let's go. I did set this up last night, you could see. I just set it up as casserole. Um, I haven't gone in to play it. I've officially not played this game in over two years, so there's gonna probably be a little bit of stuff that I don't exactly remember. Um, but I don't know if I'm going for 100% because I know that even though I've played this several times, I've missed a lot of stuff throughout the years. So let's see what we can do. So there's memories, which, you know, I don't have any. These are all the different kind of memories we can collect. Yeah, here's her dresses. So this is our story mode. Everything else will unlock when we um, kind of get through a lot of the levels. You can't actively play in the dresses till you beat the levels. And in a lot of levels, worlds, chapters specifically, her dress will change, which is one of my absolute favorite things about this, but without further ado, because I keep saying let's get started, let's actually get started. Yes. We'll go with that. Here we go. Some more tea before we start. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's, a it's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rabbit! No! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland 
is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. And here we are. <laughs> See what I say when I say it's a very dark, twisted version. I don't remember all the controls, so we will have to mess with that. But everything is pretty somewhat interactive. My stories to the children bear strange fruits. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. I like the fish. Holy pinch me smalls. Wear bloomers. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that before. Worse than your room? Oh. Oh, this is just weird. Can't find the door. I'm working on it, Alice. Wasted doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? We have no control of the camera somewhere. A bit. I think we're just in here. Oh, oh that's cool. See, it's like it's been two years since I played this, but I've had a lot happen Doctor, in two years. Do you right? Still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. safe home, right? <laughs> I don't think there's anything back here. No. The illustration... Il the illustrated news feeds an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem. An industrial disaster. Fire at match factory. Six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's quite gone quite mad. I can't interact with any of these doors. Ten years in the loony bin. No, Ma, no relation. She's an orphan. I think the kids look so creepy in this. Bring your key. Mr. Payne had this. no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. This photograph of my family was delivered here by post. No message, no return address. I'm grateful for this memento, but I wish I could thank the sender. You know, if we go into first person. I just love the 2D, like, cutout. I assume always that these are Alice's drawings of her loveliness in Wonderland. Moving on. Her. 
Lovely children. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. I remember there being some issues like walking through some stuff. Um, oh, this so thing is killing me, babe. I call work noble. Oh, can't come this way, love. Uh, go, man. Nice, I think you could build a flat on it. You like Boccarini, Missy? How about Paganini? Especially sideways. I keep forgetting up is down and down is up. There's our kitty. Let's see what all these little kids say. She ever work? Where's her flat? Too good for company? She don't get close. Hates being touched. Who likes it then? Never slap, spike, or like. The Sandman's coming in his train of cards, with moonbeam windows and the gleams of stars. So hush, you little ones, and have no fear. The man in the moon, he is the engineer. I don't think I've ever interacted with these kids in the back before. Like I said, it's been two years since I played this. I've also had a um, head-on collision with a traumatic brain injury, and I'm missing a lot of my memory. <laughs> So there's a lot of things that I don't exactly remember. But this is set in London. And here is our Alice. Alice Little. Hi, white kitty. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. I do remember what's coming, though. <laughs> Following furry creatures into dark holes has become okay. a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Oh, but it's so fun now. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Mm. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Like some of pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, Oh, died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. 
Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can't remember her name, what I heard. I think I said this is set in London. Beautiful, Gus. Mm -hmm. Nurse Whitless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing. I have all the items to cosplay and is my I was gonna do it last Halloween but I got COVID <laughs> instead <laughs> get out beautiful is this not the wonderland we all want in our mind I'm so excited to play this again you do Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Ruth. Hail tears. Let's just take a minute, please, to not only appreciate her outfit, because it is just beautiful, but just the right side of Wonderland. This little piggy. <laughs> piggy. The cow. I really love the leaves. Is our first memory. I got frog, Alice, I swear. You jump so well. Which, yes. <laughs> this is kind of like the little tutorial phase that teaches us, like, how we do things. You could do multiple double jumps. Um, it hasn't taught us that yet. That kills us. <laughs> For sure, it kills us. I don't think there's anything to feed down here. So that these all react when we come around.
the Eshu floats. Could jump like that twice, I think. If you leave from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Again, I don't think it's all. Me to look up here. Amanita muscaria Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. And this is one of my favorite aspects of the game, but we get to shrink. I can't remember which. Get it through this tutorial section right here. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Quite. Forests for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. She's barely there. A vixen in her happy home. Is this him say? So this feature will be extremely helpful through the game. There's a lot of keyholes we have to sneak through, but on top of that, it reveals so much to us that we otherwise wouldn't be able to see. Okay, so that's death. And these heal us. Just so cool when we actually need it. And we collect teeth! I forgot to say that. But see, this otherwise shows you stuff that you wouldn't be able to see. It becomes kind of critical in a lot of uh, like chapters and worlds we go through. And we collect our teeth! The big boy. slow down on this. It looks like it's supposed to be a dragon. I've never really paid attention to that before. 
The vorpal blade is swift and yes. keen, and this always is my ready favorite, for service. Favorite weapon in this game. <laughs> I've There's not come back really here cool looking ones. for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. <laughs> Yay! So, you have just obtained the Vorpal Blade. So snicker snack, it leaves them dead, as seen in a previous poem. The Vorpal Blade inflicts the swift swiftest damage to a single target at close range. This has often been my downfall in gameplay. Um, I get a little too accustomed to attacking with this uh, because I gain other tools that allow me to like attack from further apart. But I just really like the close range battle. Implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely. Gotta collect all these teeth. We collect roses from it as well. Would you can see our health meter up there? I'm not in the way, right? Yeah, I put myself down at the bottom. So I know there's kind of a lot of stuff that happens up towards the top. <laughs> and this will be our first introduction to our first set of enemies. anything in here. Sucker for all the florals forever. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. While jumping, press and hold spacebar to initiate Alice, Alice's flow. I've not done, I'm not doing this on the um, controller. Um, I'm not doing this on the keyboard, I'm doing it on the controller. I couldn't imagine playing it with WASD in the spacebar. One time I'll have to just play it through like that. Um, I think it'd be heck of hard. <laughs> to further extend, float, press and hold spacebar again while jumping. Um, I don't want to do that. So it can be used multiple times while jumping, which is true. And you can kind of give yourself a boost up like that as well. Floats with her butterflies. Press dodge. I'm jumping. Oh, look at memory. Wait. I don't remember what the bottles are for. That might be something we investigate a little further later. That's how a lot of death will happen in here for me. Lovely, lovely. It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? <laughs> yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are oh, pig snouts so scattered bacon. about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for Step me. Grinder. Take care for the pests that block your way. 
Pepper them up if they I do. They need opinions. spice. And you're just the dick, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. Shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Pepper Grinder! <sighs> Look at how cute the pig is on it, which you can upgrade, I think, each of the weapons four times. So, not to spoil the other two, but there are two more that we will get. We can upgrade each three times or four times. Um, but this is, you have just obtained the Duchess's pig. Piglet edition pepper grinder. Spice up your foes. Prepare savory snouts. And I think at a later time this is open for us. I think when you like do like a playthrough again, you know, once you beat the game, if you play it again. <coughs> Excuse me. Her dresses also um, open things. These are butterflies, which is just perfect. Oops. Every domain, keep an ear out for the snouts. Enter aiming mode, then shoot the snout with the pepper grinder. Once the snout is full of pepper, it will reveal paths and collectibles. Little snout. Let's make sure we got everything else. Okay, we'll get the snout in a minute. I think I grabbed everything else. Some of them I remember being pretty hard to find in some of the levels. There you go. through the little door now, maybe. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. Break the Duchess's basket. Gold teeth! Thank you. 
Throughout all the different games that you play, it's very hard for me sometimes to remember um, All of these reactors. <laughs> Forgot about that power. <laughs> need to remember this because this comes in handy a lot. Especially when dealing with a lot of the um, bigger spooky guys. Just double checking because I know I've never like 100% completed the game. Um, and it's mostly because these and stuff are hidden and stuff. Oh, this is the way we came in, isn't it? <laughs> A snout! anything hidden around here? I 
I just plan to play this first chapter kind of through here. Oops. timing of this. I remember the hair, ugh, her hair, um, like the flow in her hair when she jumps being like such, almost like a revolutionary change to gameplay, like when she floats her hair. Um, just because I mean, this was back in 2011. Get that gold tea for her. So cool. She's crying. Crying. <laughs> now she's crying, Black Beauty. Lovely, lovely. Slithering ruin. Just a bottle. I'll take more of tea. Oh, it's just a gold toothers. Excited. Set on that. Well, take a peek. Uh, Keyhole and lovely this way, and <laughs> death this way. This is a big arena fight.
you notice like some of the stuff is off on the jumps a bit. as your life depended on it because it does. Gather these pearly whites to prevent your premature arrival before the pearly gates. My friends can use the chompers and you'll improve your weapons capacity. Hmm. You do not have enough to upgrade that. So we could do each as you could see like the cards above. We'll get two more weapons. Great three times so a total of four levels want to let's just do it need to upgrade your verbal blade are you sure you'd like to upgrade um yes mechanical malfunctions, this disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. The Veil of Tears Looking Glass Railway. Oh. Hi. Double check. Touch it there. How do you get there? You deaf can't jump that high. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be jumping up to higher. <laughs> For Alice, I keep deaf, not my own job. A sluggy. Thank <laughs> you. 
close to getting these guys madcap the guys with the forks are a little brutal enemy attacks, yeah. <laughs> Canyon. Yes, please. Maybe it heals me. So there is something else that happens when she gets low in health, but I will let that happen as it happens. I won't spoil that. I'm gonna use these even though I don't need them. Just get the teeth. Making noise. <laughs> I don't know who is. Yeah. Lost and don't know where to go. Try using shrink. While shrunk, shrink sense will reveal hidden paths and clues, which is kind of like what I was saying earlier. Um, really unveils a lot of stuff. I think it's just important to do in every room, like we've already found hidden, hidden goodies, so we can see that on there and that over there. I love her little hiccups. <laughs> and I didn't even notice this.
big room just for a bottle. Aesthetics though, right? So you don't have to keep this active the whole time. Um, it just helps you know where the paths are. Okay, so you forget like I often do. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. Can we just take a moment? Oh, I thought I could go... Oh, because I'll have me do it like this. Look at how cool this is. The game design on this is just all the chef's kiss from me. Which is a big reason that this is my favorite game, as I've explained. Oh, I never did say that. Um, I'll link the first game of this, though, so, or um, the first episode of this where I kind of explain the franchise, the game series, the Suppose the third game that's supposed to be coming out. Um, I'll have it linked below in the description as well as an my card. No, I don't want to do this again. Go get these things first. Oh, I missed teapots. Personally, <clears throat> excuse me. I really love these. Yes, piggy, we hear you. Rich needed. If I could get those goodies up. Oh, Tifer. See, like I said, why the teeth are so important. Able to obtain. Now we gotta go back and call the car. The cab. What, did it, what was it called? Oh my god, I love these flowers. Little gear flowers. The details. I'm hoping this like opens up just more like gameplay content. Um, I probably won't always do it with a face cam on my channel. Apart from just Minecraft, I have such a love of games, especially spooky ones, like I've played Phasmophobia and stuff on here before. Um, but I would like to be getting into more of just playthroughs, walkthroughs, experiencing other games for the first time. Like I said, I've always been a console gamer. Um, so PC, even though I'm using a um, Xbox controller on my computer right now, um, not always been my go-to of the design of this. So beautiful. Okay. Call cable car. <laughs> Don't worry, just silent about it. <laughs> not announcing my presence to everything. Yeah, how cute this is. Other industry. And our little teapot. Oh my god. Hatter's domain. The Hatter's domain. Almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Pat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. And her
her dress change. Please. I've made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. Some vents need to be activated by turning. Well, on the vent, you can rotate Alice to exit the space, or to exit the space. To exit the vent, press space bar, or simply move away from it, which, of course, I'm not using the keyboard. Um, but here is her dress. We hear a snout. But I think this is where I'm going to end the first episode because we now jump into a new dress, a new scene, the Hatter's Domain. That was the Veil of Tears, now we are in the Hatter's Domain, which is where the second episode will pick up. And <laughs> she's clearly impatient, but for the second episode, we will be here back into the Hatter's Domain. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the series as much as I do playing it and walking through it. Um, like I said, my memory of things comes back as I play through it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Alice Madness Returns. Bye!